Hello everybody, welcome to the official cast of the round two match in group I between Sergo and Zapatsky. I actually forgot this, look I've got a little table here, you can see that um, surveillance, uh, surveillance is top of the group. Sergo drew his first game and Zapatsky lost his first game. So there you go, there's the table. And um, Sergo has won the toss, chosen to receive. Zapatsky surprised me by having a saved formation already to load, so this is why he's a little bit, uh, a little bit hurried on the start of the game. Um, Sergo, I can tell you, qualified for this by the season four playoffs, and is Spanish. Zapatsky is from UK. He qualified on PlayStation via the MML. World Championship qualifiers, and <laughs> Circle's gone for a crazy team. I forgot this team. It's just all block, <laughs> four block biggins, block thrower, and a mighty blow blitzer. No guard at all. And uh, these look like block mummies, but they're not. They're rookie mummy. Wait, no, one is. One is a block mummy. And this other one is a block ghoul. So it looks like two block mummies. It's not block one. It's not two block mummies, but it is one block mummy. A block ghoul, a sure hands ghoul, a tackle and a guard. So no tackle for this game because there's no dodge on Circle's team. Circle's got 12 players and an apple. No apple for Zapatsky, of course, but um, there we go. The thing is, though, punter, it's so few players. Plus, it's not the Super League then, right? The Super League was a uh, real football phenomenon of 12 teams that were the toxic elite, essentially. Oh, there we go. There's a removal. So it doesn't really make sense to have... Like, that was one of the big complaints about it, right? That the, that the 12 founder teams could never get relegated. Not, not a huge criticism of it, but one of the criticisms was. Man United were in that, yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, by being in the Super League, you would stay super because you would make a lot more money. <laughs> so, it wouldn't have been that stupid if it had happened. <laughs> I guess he's going to run all around here, right? And then blitz this guy. That's why this guy's there and his mighty blow hasn't activated yet. I do feel like these two just being here and here and stopping the breakthrough is better than inviting the breakthrough. I feel like it's much better to have these guys further forward. Ooh, rush. Makes the pickup at the second time. So we've got black and white team for Sergal. And uh, we've got Dimmy G colours for Zapatsky with green, black and a bit of yellow. Look at that. Fantastic. Yellow helmet. Not much yellow on this team, but there it is. It's very Dimmy G colours. We've got the Orc cheerleaders. Very good. What has Sergal gone with? Also all cheerleaders. Oh god, I've gone the wrong way. Yes, this is a bug. It displays as two minutes sometimes. I don't really know why that happens. Um, but when he dips into his time bank, it will show correctly as seven minutes 30. Super leak. Maybe have it. I do like Super League, Good League, Mid League. Did, 
Did the follower walks away? Hmm. That's about the stands. <laughs> uh, this is like the Orc Stadium, isn't it? And we've got... Is this the Undead one? Is it, this is just standard, I think. This is just the standard sideline stuff. And this, we've got the Underworld here. Um, Warpstone, Warpstone, Warpstone. Yep. Also, we've got a che an actual cheerleader and an assistant coach for Sergal and an assistant coach for Zapatsky as well. Of course, tabletop, rather than the assistant coach and a zombie, they generally have a... Uh, oh, has he got a skeleton? Okay. Rather than having a skeleton and a coat, they normally have a Bloodweiser keg, but unfortunately, Blood Bowl 3 does not have the ability to roster inducements yet. Might happen. I'm not sure if it's going to be... I heard that there was going to be like something added to, you know, the admin tool that you could have star players and stuff, so I don't know if that's part of that or not. Bases and then it only gets a both down. Not ideal. But there is only one guard on the pitch. <laughs> and he's uh, quite far away, but I guess the guard can come in, can't he? And then he can make 2D blocks. And he can also blitz with the mummy as well. So he can get a few hits in here. He can get a few hits in here, Zapatsky. Honestly, might have been an idea by Circle to tag this guard to stop him getting in because this guard of getting in does does unlock things a bit. Not too much actually. It's not too bad. TBH. Wow, Hancock, as if as as if he'd ever cheat. Come on, be serious now. Black and white's a bit uninspiring, isn't it, for a team? Honestly, uh, they're both using orc cheerleaders. Ginger badger, ginger badger. Is it ginger? I guess it is ginger, isn't it? It could be either. It could be ginger or ginger. Oh, we're not blitzing with a block mummy. Instead, blocking with a blockless one. more right if he powed that would have given him a 2d and it would have given this guy a 2d so it was you see the point of it yeah you can see Zapatsky's on 728 now no problem
There's no tackle on the orcs, is there? So these uh, these ghouls aren't too badly off, but still, just hitting them with block because they, they're not defended. Hitting them with block is still a 55% knockdown on AV7. No regen. No apo, so... I'm pretty sure Sergal's going to try and get the... Uh, get the block hits on these ghouls if he can. Dimbo with the orcs. Orcs, 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 orcs. So we're just trying to beat off the mummies instead of uh Well that's quite good actually, that skull means you're not hit by a mummy. <laughs> so it didn't go for the ghouls like I thought he would. You can just punch things now, right, Zapatsky? Punching things is really good. Like it's weird how like being a banger has become an insult somehow, because honestly, Banging is really, really good. It's like 90% of Blood Bowl. It's just banging things and hoping for the best. <laughs> so, yep. And if you bang better, that's a good thing. result but he's got four rerolls so it's not so bad i feel like opening with a zombie block when you have a block my mummy block right next to your block mighty low block right next to you probably should be starting with that one there we go also could have stood this guy up already now he can start. He couldn't start this guy up before because he was still there. Oh, well, I would have blitzed him with a mummy. I guess we're blitzing this guy with a mummy then. Was he going to blitz to try and get on the ball? Was he got, like this guy could have blitzed up here, couldn't he? I just moved up to assist or something. Seems better than doing the rush first, but he does the rush and does snake the rush. 
So unlucky rush fail. Two rerolls down and a pretty poor turn overall. There's a Patsky. BB junk. So now Sergo managed to can can it kind of get like a free reset here, right? Didn't get anyone knocked over really, like no one hurt. Gets to stand up his players that were down. Maybe would like a guard, but doesn't have it. <laughs> that rush like if he was double rushing to blitz I still don't really like it like you know rushing is every two plus that you make you've got to really need to make it right because you can fail two pluses and a mummy falling is like so bad for you it really, really, really has to be worth the mummy falling. This being turn four, there's an argument for just basing the ball here. Which is very easily achievable. Let's see. Let's see what he does. Too old for video games, man. Do you know what? I'll never forget when in <laughs> in 2014, <laughs> um, Dold, seeing Dold 74 and then mocking him for being 40 and still playing video games, and thinking, "Wouldn't be me. <laughs> Wouldn't be me. <laughs> Imagine that." And then here I am at 44, still playing video games. So yeah. Yep. It's the pow. So it's interesting, isn't it? Because, like, basing the ball here is something that people like to do. But I think it's more important to, like, hold against this breakaway, right, with these two blitzers here. You've got the uh, mummy's holding this flank so I feel like trying to stop a potential breakaway down this side is better I think well I think it's just different isn't it it's just different like times have changed haven't they when I was young it was uh, it was all like if you play video games, you're a big giant nerd, and now it's like kind of normal, isn't it? Where's his blitz? Didn't blitz? Didn't blitz that turn? Didn't blitz? It was a long time ago, Dimmy. Yes, yes, it was. Yes, it was a long time ago. Yes, it was. So if you're not going to blitz there, then, I don't know, like this, this white could have just blitzed this guy, right? That's just obviously better. Just obviously better to have blitzed him. He was out here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you could power him, and that's just obviously way better. And this guy could have come out there, like, as I said, I think, balancing the, it a bit, like holding this is a bit better. And just not holding it. Yeah. The mummies have got this locked down. So this is where he's going to go, isn't it? Doesn't get the knockdown.
There's quite a strong push down here now. Well, because it's a one dice block and it could fail, right? So, you, you could just skull. So I, I understand just moving there and not blitzing him. But if he, if he goes here, then he gets to hit him on two dice, right? Which is very good. But like, block, blocking, you don't have to take every one D, right? Well, it turns out it would have been better to have one D'd him even. Ten years out, yeah. Yeah, I was born 35 years after the end of the Second World War. And now it's 44 years after I was born. That's crazy, isn't it? Mm, I don't know. I don't, I don't like that. I don't value that. Cause me, though. I mu I'd much prefer to not do that. <laughs> but then... Similarly, I would have played that whole turn a lot differently. And, uh, you know, Sergal's reacted the way I thought. He's grabbed all this space, he's made some dodge rolls, and uh, looks real bad for Zapatsky now, doesn't it? He's got to try and get these guys back round in front. I do not value basing the cases. The thing is, like, basing the ball. This isn't that good. Like, if you want to base the ball, then you put the guard in there, and you you blitz him on two dice, right? There's just like you don't want to blitz him on one dice. Probably should just follow there. Like, yes, it isolates you more, but at least you're on two instead of one just being free to wander off, and now you're just being stuck on one. Hello, Chunter. Uh, not bad, thanks. I had a very stressful ladder game in between, <laughs> in between the two cars so versus the what appeared to be the world's slowest player, and then I forgot to uh, try to win against him, <laughs> so that made his dagger burn an extra turn. <laughs> and it was all a bit of a disaster. But uh, apart from that, fine, thanks. How are you? The cars are good, isn't the World Cups good? Enjoying the World Cup still, but uh, the Undead game was an absolute tragedy. Not a huge fan of the base there. I feel like blocking the... Uh, Lineman first was better. So then if you power him, actually just standing here is better, right? Stand here, hold the space, and then this guy can go one, two, three, four, five, six. He can come around there, and then he can just hold the space. And then you could even dodge this guy off and really double screen it, so... I guess the good thing about this is he doesn't have any guards, so he can't just smash up there, but he can kind of come through this now. Or he can just carry on pushing down the sideline. Turn six, maybe pushing down the sideline is better, honestly. I mean, Bullock, because I would have made the 2D, I would have made the 2D at that point, because you have you had two assists for the big end, so I'd rather just blitz the big end and 2D, 2D the big end. Is the thing Cosme goal? I think you still base the ball if you if you blitz if you blitz the big end, wouldn't you? Maybe not. Blitzing the big end was just better because two dice at the end of the day. Plus it's getting you further over that side as well, right? Like, this was the side where it was going to push, so better player up that side. Disrupt him on that side, rather than just sculling on your side. Like I would just think I would skull, which you know is fair enough. That's not good for me, right? Because you shouldn't just expect yourself to skull. But I would just expect myself to skull if I did that blitz. So, I, but I would have definitely two deed. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Chandra, I've, I've had that before. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, I've had that. So, yeah, this was the problem with trying to go down the side here. I feel it was much better blitzing through, right? You could have big and blitzed this guy, and then that would have given him a block here, and that would have given him the space through there. That does make this mummy more relevant. And if you get the knockdown here, you can go through there in peace, can't you? But millions to one, indeed, Orlensis. Especially if you're not going to re-roll it, that makes it even less likely to not power. <laughs> now then, Tulian. This is a little bit of a pickle, isn't it? He still hasn't stood this guy up. I don't think he's dodging, so there we go. Probably should have stood him up ten hours ago. But you know, I'm the same, like I did it I did it in that game today that I played, my undead game. Just stand people up halfway through the turn. Classic. Not the best turn, no. No, and now the uh now the undead can do things, actually. Now the undead can do things. Are they good things? I don't know. Maybe. Might be able to surf the ball. <laughs> but, uh... I'm not enough of a wizard for that one. Probably can't. Uh, not, without a, not without a dodge anyway. But he's got this free free blitzer here. He's got a free ghoul here. Two other free players. So he's got lots of uh, lots of players to stick in places and do things. Just Alexa start the turn with a 1D rather than putting the guard in there. So that's interesting, isn't it? I wonder what his idea is by starting the 1D. Gets KO. Maybe he was going to chain this, like, maybe he was going to 1D, 1D and chain this into the sideline and do something. But one dice does make it, do, you know, that does add power to the hit. So obviously that's what he was thinking. <laughs> yeah, that is that is it is unfortunate because we go yeah. Where is his blitz gonna come? Is he gonna blitz this turn? Surely he has to blitz this turn. Using a lot of time. I mean, not really, right? The end of the day is two halves, so he's used less than half his time bank. But he sure does need to do something at some point. He's got a blitz and he's got a move with the two players that are left, so. You're definitely going to block with his zombie, mate, so just block with the zombie. <laughs> well, in fact, you're also going to block with the mummy, who has block and might. You lost a block with him, like, I don't know, five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lepeg, I've done that before. 
Oh, the blockless blitz. And he won in 81, so very unlucky. Blockless blitz and kills himself. However, they could have made this block with block. A mighty blow on a big end. This guy could have blocked him long ago. Um, long ago. Long ago. That was still very, very unlucky, wasn't it? Gets the kill. I mean, he had he had to do this blitz. I don't think there was any other choice to blitz. He could, however, have, like, say, moved this guy over in case of the one in 81. Or whatever. And he's removed. So, really horrible, horrible dice of a Zapatsky. But, um, not the best. Not the best turn ordering and, uh, you know, stuff. Yeah, perfect eight turn store, isn't it? KO'd loads of uh, players and now it's just easy, yeah, from nearly disaster to casual domination. Is this a rush? <sighs> Wouldn't have done that. I would have snaked, obviously. When I say I wouldn't have done that, I mean I would have just obviously snaked. <laughs> I don't know why the big one's gone in there. Is it so he can dodge off the lino? Yeah. Actually, he could have based there and then done a one dice block. I would have probably liked more because he would still be screening with this guy and he'd be screening with him. And then a one day here, he could have powered him. I don't really see the point of basing the mummy though, like he's not exactly going to go 100 squares and base the ball, is he? I'd have rather just brought him back to here and what one day blocked him. Dodge, man. Sergo really plays these orcs like elves, he makes so many dodges with them. I guess because they've got no guard, so they can't punch things as well. <laughs> could have appled. It could have appled. He could have rerolled that due to only like one more turn left, and he's just going to score. So he really could have uh, rerolled that dodge. Two left. Funny that he did purposefully based this guy and then dodged away from that one. I mean, not gotten the score here. So you might as well just open with. Uh, Mummy block and a mummy blitz. Actually, three dice will be blitz. Oh, he's going for the 1D. And failed the dodge. Flip me. That was the heroic 1D on the ball. It wasn't that bad, was it? 5 plus in. Well, the double 2. Now he does get to surf this other one, though. Which is uh, absolutely... Oh no, Circle. 
lazy rubbish play. These three players just standing around saying, oh, could that have been a three dice? Yes. Yes, it could have been a three dice. <laughs> but it wasn't. And yes, surfing the ghoul was much better than not surfing it, and he just did not make it three dice. And, you know, is that terrible? No, it's not terrible in the grand scheme of things, but for, for, for this level of play, should it have always been a three dice? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely should have been a three dice. There was no positional cost in making it a three dice. Just makes your odds better. You absolutely have to do it. <laughs> Good point, Aurelensis. Yeah. Imagine if he'd quad scold and he could have just made it a three dice. I imagine if he got the knockdown and didn't surf, which he did, so. Maybe the third dice would have been a push and then maybe he would have got the surf. I mean, it's very unlikely to make a difference. You can argue that clicking less makes for less RSI and, <laughs> you know, plus EV for your life is not making the four assists to make the blitz, but, um, you know, it's not in your time bank. In terms of the game, it's definitely better to make it a three dice. Not by much. Well, I guess getting the surf, it's, uh, it's increasing the chance of the surf by, like, probably a decent amount, right? Making it three instead of two. Iron Man, the ball carrier maybe, or the guard if he was on. Can he give it to the guard? Probably not, right? Probably has to be available for this try, which makes this KO fail even worse. Maybe the block guy, then he can get in the way a little bit more. You know he shouldn't be getting knocked over realistically. Yeah, the block one. Okay. So whatever happens, well, not whatever happens, because we could have seen removals here. At the moment, Sergo has 11, even if this fails. As does Zapatsky. So Zapatsky definitely needs to foul, right? Because he's got the skeleton reserve. He should have fielded the skeleton, so he could have fouled with it. I mean, it shouldn't be on his team, but once it's on his team... He could foul it. They were good KO re recoveries, yeah. What the hell? One, two, three out of four. Very nice. Injured. Huge. Can't apple it. So now, if this guy stays out, there's only ten players for circle. And now we are getting a three dice from Zapatsky. Push here. And a 
pow. And he basically just has to foul him, right? He just has to foul him because he's got a reserve. Removal. You can think about appoing this, honestly. You really can think about appoing this. I'd quite happily dip into Time Bank and think about this. Because a 50 50 is pretty bad. He doesn't use it. Doesn't get the argue. What are the KO rules like? The blitzer stays out and the guarder comes back. So, Apple was definitely the correct decision. Well done, Jim. And uh, only 10 orcs, and still 11 undead. And crucially, it still has the guard. What has the guard back? Iron Man stays through the second half, so that's good, isn't it? I'll be honest, I've forgotten, so I'm going to flash this up. Uh, Zapatsky lost the first game, so he kind of needs to win this. So he could battle for a draw here, but... Um, and if he does, that could really endanger Sergal. So it's interesting that, you know, what he... Should he go for the win and lose? Should he try to qualify with a winner, draw, and a loss? Like, maybe it's possible, right? Maybe it's possible he gets through with a winner, draw, and a loss. It's an interesting quandary if you've lost your first game. Not trying to uh, influence Kellathorn if he's watching, but you know. <laughs> if you've lost your first game, you should probably just two turn versus Dark Elves and just try and turn them over on defense, you know. <laughs> it's probably, <laughs> probably what you should be trying to do. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, that, that is part of the format, isn't it? Is, is what one of the things, you know, like how do you approach these second games? And you're not really sure what's going to happen in week three. How many points are going to be good enough? Like, they would be better for Zapatsky to have seen. Well, obviously, better for anybody for the second game to be played first, you know, like the other two people to have played before your game. But they are going into this in the dark a little bit. I guess if you're Zapatsky, you can think that, the, you know, the if the. Other team that I've already forgotten. Oh my god, I can't put it on again, can I? They're playing now. I'll look it up. I'll look it up on uh, Breaking T's site. It's very good. Right. So, surveillance. If surveillance beats Spitfire. And Zapatsky draws versus Circle, then we've got 6 2 1 1. And then, if Surveillance beats Circle and Zapatsky beats Spitfire, he can qualify. So he can absolutely qualify in 1 1 1. But a loss, he's definitely out with two losses, right? Two losses is definitely out. So a draw is still in with a shot. Oh, is that a KO that he appoed? Ah, well, now it looks great, doesn't it? Not appoing. Um, anybody, even tier one, could give up two normals for a uh, secondary, two primaries for a secondary, so that's why his ghouls are very unskilled, right? He's only got two ghoul skills. This this is he hasn't got two block mummies. <laughs> He's only got five skills total. 
It's not what I'd do. But it doesn't make it wrong, does it? Gets a knockdown. And a removal. No uh no power apple for Zapatsky. So it is ten aside. Should just be punching, maximizing, mummy maxing, shouldn't he? That's what he needs to do. He needs to be mummy maxing. That is his goal on offense: is to mummy max. Get as many as on offense, defense, at any point in time. <laughs> is to max blocks with mummies, preferably 3D. Oh. Hmm. Garden there is okay, but he's definitely just going to get punched. <laughs> so he doesn't really protect your uh, mummy too much. No, maybe he does. Maybe he does. I guess without him there, then you'd blitz this guy and then put an assist and block the mummy. So yeah, the guard does protect him a bit, actually. Yep, fair. Fair. Maximum, yeah, maximum. <laughs> At least we've got Dimmy G colour scheme here. I mean, that's great to see, isn't it? Everyone's favourite. Green, back in, green, black and yellow <laughs> miniatures painter. Dimmy G, champ. Another removal, 10 versus 9 for Sergal. Picking off the exposed vulnerable player.
The Patsky does have four rerolls. So, you know, might be able to like brute force the touchdown through. But it's uh, looking rough, isn't it? Lots of removals again. No knockdown. I thought he'd have stood the guard in between them again, but doesn't. Might have been wise to Venga bust this, right? So we could have had the other ghoul in the cage, like not exposed. Because now there's no real place for this ghoul to go that isn't going to get smashed to bits. Oh dear. No knockdowns. Now we can get the mummy knocked down. Both mummies knocked down. White knocked down. Zombie knocked down. Everything else based. This could be a absolute horror turn of a Zapatsky here. We'll see what Sergal does. Tucked in. Removed. <laughs> oh dear. It's a knockdown because he hasn't got block. Man, I tell you what, Sergal's old block is looking better and better and better, isn't it? This is him. I don't like this blitz. Like, it's alright. Maybe I do like it, actually. I, I prefer blitzing the mummy and then, like, you know, knocking down both mummies. But actually, getting into the ball and, like, just basing things is pretty strong, isn't it? I guess the thing was, if this had been a pow, then he could have come in there, which would be pretty good. And then he can go around the back. I mean, I guess he's coming around the back anyway. Somehow, either here, or here, or here. Surely somewhere. Maybe not, maybe we'll just run back up there. Well, I think this square's better. I guess this way he'd be based by them, I mean, but... Now you've let, you've left him an escape route, right? Which he probably has to go for. Honestly, probably just like blitz with a mummy, and uh, so he can get out of the way, and then just dodge everything through. So I think this is a bit mistake by uh, Sergal. The problem is, is what this should have been a blitz, right? If this is a blitz, you can then like tag him. And then you can run through, but now it's still a dodge, so now you've got to like one deep blitz or something. See, I'd say that was a mistake. I mean, in my opinion it's a mistake. Because this is a this is a 
path through. I mean, so, so maybe it's a bit harsh to call circles a mistake, but we, well, this is on, like, if it's here, it's only weak to the pal, right? Um, but he could have just blocked, and then he could have blitzed him, and no, no, he's not really through either, no, so it, it was much better to be, yeah, yeah, it was definitely a mistake from circle, and I'd say a mistake from Zipatsky, yeah. But now he gets to... Yeah, see, re-roll now. It gets the power though, so it was better. Wait, no, this doesn't work. He still has to blitz. He still has to dodge. I guess he doesn't have to dodge with the, with the white, at least. But he still has to dodge. Hmm, the problem with going that way is he can hit you. <laughs> Probably had to be here. And like make both of the dodges as well. Okay, double rush makes it pretty safe, doesn't it? A double rush is pretty good. And yeah, he's going to come around here now. Stun is huge, isn't it? Finally fails a one in nine, but looks like he's done enough to get the skull. I mean, he can base the ball. He can base the ball here, so but that's all. Yeah, I didn't like. I didn't like the bit the attack the mighty blow because this is the guy who can base you, right? So where where was he here? He could have gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush. So like a dodge and a rush would have got him to here. And then maybe a second rush to there, and then you've actually got the screen, and then he's got a blitz. He's got to block this guy down, then he's got to blitz this guy, and then he can move through to base. Oh, rush here. Uses a reroll? Wow. It's surely better to just move the blitz, move the thrower to here, punch him, like move, throw it and go to here, punch him, and then double rush to base the ball. Is surely better than that rush to. I mean, this is a, this is a. He's not. Is he going to rush? He's not even going to rush. Just a one D here. I don't think he was going to hit one more stall, but I think he should have at least, uh, I think he should have still, you know, got the girl to here. One day skulls out. If this girl was up there and then this girl had got through, maybe, but just gone out on him. Luckily for Zapatsky, Sergal decided to reel all that rush, like to achieve basically nothing. I guess maybe he thought he could have stalled the turn if he if he hadn't re-rolled it, but still don't think he would have done. I mean, they're not that slow, are they? I guess he, he could try and run back and like reconnect, but that's so it, he's got no players. <laughs> like he's got two mummies, and then like that's it. He's just. He's got a guy here, a stun guy, a strength three guy who can't do anything, another stun guy, like he's just, he's got nothing. You can't dream of trying to stall here. I don't think. Gets to use his block. And does absolutely nothing. Well, he got everybody back. No, he didn't. He got two out of three, but he, he's got up to 11 again. 
He got the good players back. He's got he's got eleven players. Sergal only has ten. This blitzer stays KO'd. I think you shouldn't do whatever setup this is. You should uh, try to defend. Yep, here we go. Chevrons. Four turns with one reroll is a little bit tricky. That kind of plays into his hands anyway, right? Because he really wants to win a lot more than he wants to draw anyway, so... This way he's got the chance of getting the turnover and getting the win. Yeah, if there's a touchback, he's going to be pretty happy, isn't he? Oh, the Bludge Man and the Nun Guard Edge. Yeah, that sounds very good, Aurelensis. Yeah. Tanks. Yeah, because, you know, you, so you look at this and you've got imbalance, right? And you go, tackles a blank skill because there's no dodge. So I've got to guard this side. And this is a blank skill because you're not going to turn him over. So he's got guard and block on one side. And he's got blank and blank on the other side. So he's got... So I guess he's got, um, he has got the block on this side, but yeah, it could have been on the outside because he's definitely going this way because it's where the guard and the block is, not it? So he probably should have had the block and we'll meet that there as well, right? So he probably should have swapped these two. And then maybe swap this as well. So you either go up the guard side or you go the double block side. So yeah. A blitz. A six player blitz. Oh <laughs> boy howdy. And there's a player in range to allow a flood through to go for the win. Flip me. Not a touchback. Guaranteed not a touchback. So you've got a couple of choices. You can either like go in here or you go through here and he's going through. I like the going through more. Oh! Diced. You can try and go around with a girl. Oh, that's sad, isn't it? That's so sad. 89% of the time, he at least just moves him out of the way and gets three players through here. I mean, three players. One, two, three, four, five. So like you've got three players around here. He's rushing on a blitz. Some people would say not to do that, and definitely don't do it twice. But who can say if it's good or bad? I'm not sure. I think Pro might be activation, so maybe. It just depends what the what the wording is, doesn't it? Just depends what the wording is, whether it's activation or not. can't really I'm surprised he didn't put in the mummy right just whacking the mummy here maybe not actually maybe. I mean he might have to blitz this cool is he blitzing di is he blocking diagonally or this one in front yeah okay he's bl blocking the one in front so then he can assist and then the mighty bow can blitz him. I think you kind of have to do that because you have to not lose. So I think he can blitz him. I would have put him one higher though. And then blitz from down up onto him. I think this is incorrect square. I think he should be one higher. So if you power him, or even if you push him, he's directly on there, right? Because at the moment, if you push him up, 
he can dodge, double dodge this way. Okay, he's not blocking him, so I think that's a mistake. I think you absolutely have to block him here. I think you have to not lose. I think you have to take the hit to your scoring chances to not lose. But, obviously, Sergal thinks with a draw in his first game he has to win this as well. He's got to rush to pick it up, even and he's only got one reroll. Does he even rush here? Does he even rush here? Ooh. The cards. I mean, he's had the dice this game, so the amount of removals he's made is crazy. Is he gonna rush? He is. He gets the rush. He gets the pickup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rush, rush. Into the corner. Ball goes out. That probably actually helps uh, Sergal, actually. Tries the cheeky one. -er. Do you go for the 4 3 blitz here? I think you probably do. It's pretty funny. Which is the number one most important thing. Maybe he wants him to go for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush, one day. Like it's a lot of dice, right? Four, three, two, two, five. That's a lot of dice. So, you know, we might see something a bit more sensible. I mean, we could block, could have blocked this guy, right? And then one, two, three, rush, rush. And then blitzed here and then just based him, right? That could have been an idea. You could have blitzed through this guy and then run around and then just blocked him and then got somebody through or blitzed here and then moved up there and then moved a ghoul through. Like he's got, he had options. He didn't, I, this was a, this was a turn he could have thought about for a long time. Honestly, lots of different things he could have done. I think he is going for the 4 3 1 D. 4 3 2 2 1 D. Well, it's a lot of dice. So Patsky did indeed lose his first game, yep, and Sergal drew his first game. I mean, the fact that he hasn't done a blitz yet makes it look like he's going for this, doesn't it? Because you would have probably played your turn differently if you weren't going to go for this. No, he's blitzing the guy, basing him. No! Well, I mean, this is a lot easier right now. It's just one to base him, or double to base him in front. Just one to tag. He could uh, he could uphill with this guy, right? That's pretty tempting. That's pretty tempting if you uphill and get the push, and this guy comes through and tags him. That's real tempting. Or I guess you could have just four three with him, right? This guy could have come in there and then like. 4 3 through with dodge. Could have just done that. Probably should have just done that actually. This guy could have just 4 3 through. I don't know, uphill's pretty strong on it. Push him. And then you get both of them through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
So one goes to there and one bases him. And then he's in serious trouble. I think I think the uphill was probably the play. White uphill in the air, bigger. And this was too easy to deal with. But, you know, it, it does it does a job for you not getting, you know. <laughs> I could, it does hold him up a turn, but it was too easy to deal with. I think this uphill was the play. 100% and get both of the girls through. And then he's in real trouble. I'm pretty sure the mummy had already blocked and just pushed him to high point. Right? I'd have definitely gone for the win here. Like he's in, like he's in a lot of trouble with the with the thrower tagged and the blitzer tagged and another ghoul through. Yeah, the mummy one in nine and the blitz did spoil it. Yeah. But just this last turn, this uphill would have been great. Oh, did he not push the... Did he literally push it to the the wrong square? Oh, well, yeah, he shouldn't have pushed that to the wrong square. Oh, I didn't see that. I wasn't completely focused on the game at that point. In that case... In that case, yes. So what, what I don't understand, it was here. It could have been here. That's still not helping. If the mummy's there, I don't know how to see how it could have pushed him anywhere else. Oh, you mean here and then Well, that doesn't help because this guy's here. Was this guy not there? I don't know. I don't know. I like the uphill more anyway, and then and then you get these two guys through. That has to be the play. That has to be the play. But now it's uh. Yeah, okay, we could have got two ghouls. I mean, the important thing was basing this blitzer, right? He had to base this blitzer. I think. But, I mean, that was good for stalling for a turn, right? It looks like he's not going to get scored on now. got to block this lineman because he's a scoring threat it's tragic as it is I mean all the big ones can score can't they this guy can't score This one can. This one can. This, this big one can score. So all four big ones can score at this point in time. Well, that one can't anymore. The lineman can still score. Minute 
of time bank, but that's okay, isn't it? Using it on the last couple of turns. Extends the turn. Four. And the flip and turn, man. <laughs> you could do things here. There are definitely things you could do. He's gonna potato with this with this big one. <laughs> yes, yeah, there is this girl, yeah. Maybe you just move this big one first, right? So you've got him in range. Do you just go for the handoff, the rush handoff, and then potato down? Moves him first. Problem now is like protecting the ball a bit, isn't it? Oh, does a rush. So now we can, if he gets pushed back, he's still in range. The Dublé skulls, does he eat this? six there so he could hit the ball but he can't score he'd have to oh no oh no he can he could mummy this and then he can 2d the ball uh, or 1d the ball and pick it up with somebody and pass it five plus pa four plus pa so he could go for the 1d pow to there and then a one in eight you can just score with a ghoul and otherwise you can run through with this ghoul and pass it to him. Or you can go for the blitz the scoring threat. I mean you don't have to go for it at all, right? You can just go for whatever. It depends how much you value the draw and how much you value the, you value the win. I mean you definitely make the block first. Which pushes correct if he's going for this because that gets him through with no movement costs. So he is going for it, surely, the fact he's made this block and taken the push. Oh no, he, is, he hasn't got block. I was thinking it was the block mummy, oh dear. So he was just correct to push because otherwise he didn't lose. <laughs> The, so I mean, you could move this guy up there and then dodge to two dice him. No, he's gone for the he's gone for the win. He's going for the win. He does re-roll it. Ah, oh, and gets the ball now. So now we can like double pace the thrower and the catcher. That's a terrible place to do it though, right? You should put him there. So that he couldn't blitz away. Well, maybe it doesn't matter.
Probably should have gone the other way. I don't know, because then he could have chained him off. Mm. Yeah, this is probably good, isn't it? Yeah, maybe, I mean, like, it looks good now that he's gone for it and has this, doesn't it? And now that he's got all of this, it looks like it was worth going for the win. But it just depends how scared you are of losing and how how much you value the draw versus the, the win, right? This is definitely the wrong blitz anyway. Isn't it? Because... He could have blitzed and then if he pals he, he can just get in the end zone himself. Oh, I guess he's going to pass it to the blitzer and then hand off. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And then like rush, pass. And then he's going to hand off. Oh yeah, so maybe that was correct. Maybe that was correct. Errata, errata. Maybe that was correct. He's just gonna straight up throw it. He's just gonna lob it. He rolled a six. In the sun, he just rolled a six. He rolled a two on the catch. He rolled a four on the catch. Oh my god. Oh my god, he just rolled a six. He just long bombed it. Um, so there you go, that match ends a 1 1 draw. So Zapatsky is on the verge of going out, but he can maybe hope other results go his way to stay in with a loss and a draw. But he's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.